We're celebrating women today, and that theme brings us to the question, who are the biggest influencers in the sector? Some of the women who have left lasting impressions on Ghana sports have been captured in this report. The sports loving country, like many other African countries, Ghana has developed a sense and passion to win in the sports sector that is birthed right from when athletes are at a tender age. From Azma Nelson to Aziz Zakari, from Abedi Pele to Ai Kote, Ghana has produced some superstars in global sports capable of rubbing shoulders with some of the best in the history business. But the women were not left out. Alice Enum, Africa's flying queen, Hannah Ifriye, Ethel Jack, stable tennis, and Margaret Simpson have also risen to the high expectations in the past. Their contribution to the high standards in Ghana sports have been overwhelming. Today's generation may forget some of the legendary figures, but Rosalind Amo remembers and shares how they impacted Ghana sports. The Alessanums was the Africa's flying queen. And then we had Hane Friye. We've also had Ethel Jacks who played table tennis and was the African champion. Um, we've had Margaret Simpson, who went all the way. She was Ghana's first heptathlete queen. She went on to dominate in Africa for close to 10 years. Amo mentions the current Black Queens head coach, Mercy Tego, and 800-meter sprinter Martha Bisa as today's leather climbing women in Ghana sports, whose name will not be forgotten for years to come. Their current household name is Mercy Tego Kwaku because she played, she became a referee, refereed at the World um, Cup and she has just led the Black Queens to win the Wafu. So it is more a common name now. But for me, I think that for those who love athletics, they will always tell you that. For her being in school in the US, she keeps shining. As whether she can be the face of Ghana athletics, it's, it has to be decided by the Ghana Athletics Association. These women have left an imprint in Ghana sports. Their moon continues to rise over many others, and hopefully Ghana sees more glorified moons up in the sky emanating from the work our ladies keep churning out. The draw for the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup France 2018 is out and Ghana has been drawn in Group A against France, the host nation New Zealand and the Netherlands. In Group B you have Korea, DPR, England, Mexico and Brazil. In Group C you have the United States of America, Japan, Paraguay and Spain. In Group D it's Haiti, China, PR, Nigeria and Germany. Well, so on the, in the studio right now with me is the chairperson of the local organizing committee for the African Women's Championship, which would be hosted by Ghana in 2018. That's this year from November 17 to December 1 here in Ghana. Mrs. Frida Prempe, the Honorable Mrs. Frida Prempe. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you, Eva. Good to have you. Good Happy to see you. Women's Day. Same to you, my dear. Right, so um, the LOC was inaugurated last year, in September last year. Can you tell us, bring us up to speed on what has been done so far as far as preparations for the African Women's Championship is concerned? Thank you. We inaugurated in September last year. We started working in Nestle. Um, the CAF officials came for their first in inspection in December from the 2nd to the 7th December. They drew attention to some few things that we had to work on, especially with our infrastructure. I'm talking about our stadia, our stadia, our changing facilities, our training pitches and all that. So currently, as I speak with you, there's a lot of innovation works going on at the Prasport Stadium. Um, our first lady, Rebecca Kufuado, has also agreed to renovate the Achubota training pitch for us and the changing room as well. Recently, we paid a Curtis call on the chief of staff. So they're all ladies, they're all women. It's all African Women's Championship. So we're trying to pay Curtis calls on our first lady, uh, chief of staff, and our second lady. So the chief of staff has also agreed to renovate and refurbish the Robert Mensah Sports Stadium. 
the changing rooms as well for us. And the second lady has also graciously offered to assist us with the renovation and refurbishment of the El Wax Sports Stadium. Ghana is going to host eight countries. We are hosting four teams or participating countries will be stationed in Accra. They will be using the Accra Sports Stadium. They will train at the El Wax Sports Stadium and the Achimota training pitch. The referees will train at the Lagos Sports Stadium. The other four participating countries will be at Cape Coast. So they are going to use the Cape Coast Sports Stadium and they'll use the Park Resindum Sports Stadium as one of the training pitches and the Robert Mensah Sports Stadium as one of the training pitches. So, so far, we are working very hard behind the scenes. We are, our subcommittees are working, our media committee is working. We hope to launch the tournament officially on 23rd March um, 2018. The kickoff is on November 17th to the 1st of December. We are hoping that a CAF will come for their second inspection uh, somewhere in June. And then you are hopeful you would be ready to take on the Definitely, because we are, working, we are working with the contractors now. We are going strictly according to their work schedule, and we will have to push them to work faster because we can't afford to lose this right to host the African Women's Championship. And I can feel within my spirit that it's time for women this year. Mm -hmm. Our black maidens have qualified, our black princesses have qualified, and our black queens just won the World Food Tournament in. Mm -hmm. Ivory Coast. So we are working to have a wonderful and successful tournament come November 17th. Well, thank you very much. That was um, the Honorable Mrs. Frida Prempe, chairperson for the local Can organizing I, I committee. Mr. Tego, a happy Women's Day. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much, <laughs> ma'am. Now, the president of the Sports Writers Association of Ghana has bemoaned the delay in the start of the Ghana Premier League and called on the GFA, that's the Ghana Football Association, to put its house in order. The new season for the Ghana Premier League is yet to kick off as a result of an injunction placed on the league by Accra Great Olympics after their case against Bechim United was thrown out by the disciplinary committee of the GFA. Kwabnayabwa said, quote, there is no doubt that the delayed start of the league is causing dire financial stress for the clubs and is making the competition less attractive to corporate bodies. The next hearing of the case between Accra Great Olympics and the Ghana Football Association would be on March 17 after Olympics asked for a postponement of the, of, of the case due to their lawyer's illness. Well, so that's it for sports on News 360 on TV3. Happy Women's Day.